AJ Sarpong, radio superstar Ghana. Karibu, karibu Nairobi. Asante. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, it, Nairobi is the most, I, I'm having the time of my life. It's, yeah? it's absolutely beautiful. The city is like very well planned as compared to like Accra. No shade to Accra, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> so who is AJ? Give me a brief um, roundup. AJ is, I would say your typical girl next door, largely. A uh, media personality in Accra, Ghana. I do radio, I do TV. I've done it for about... 15 years wow. largely we don't crack uh, <laughs> and i started quite early actually i started when i was um 16 wow. so it's been quite a journey yeah. started from behind the scenes to the front of the scenes and um generally someone who has a great sense of humor yeah. laughs to laugh and always looking for a good time <laughs> how would you say um your transition was from like tv radio radio tv emceeing yeah especially in Accra. Quite interesting. Um, so initially, I started, again, as I said, be behind the scenes. So I was the girl that was running around, getting people coffee, mm. learning how things worked, and randomly got an opportunity to host a small slot um, on Friday nights that was just dedicated to telling people where to go to. So a friend was like, oh, let's do this on one of the youth-centered radio stations in Ghana called YFM. I was like, yeah, 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 sure, no problem. Um, did that for about four years and then... Decided that I think TV has a bit more of my 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 love, so I decided to do a bit more TV producing TV, which I still do, okay. um, and did a whole lot of productions, uh, some of the biggest productions in Ghana. Then from events to some of the best or most most rated shows, then I decided to make the transition to the front of the camera, which is a bit more difficult because many people know you as a girl that gets things done behind the scenes. They don't really know if you can do it in front of the camera as well. And that but was But you're a already of, a superstar on radio. Yes, at that point in time. Yeah. But then it was, I think generally people put you in a box, mm. especially as a female. They think you can do only one thing Stop at a time. Stop putting <laughs> us in boxes, right? Yeah. General so, PSA. Yes. We don't want to be in the box. We don't want to look at the box. We don't want to hear about the box. We're breaking the boxes. We're breaking the box, yeah. So uh, it was a bit of a transition trying to get people to consider me more for television as against just my voice or just producing behind the scenes mm -hmm. and that was an, it was an interesting transition mm -hmm. but we're able to make it and then fast forward we have or i have um, one of the most listened to radio stations in ghana uh, shows in Ghana, sorry. Okay, so tell me about your show yes. uh, with regards to what station it's on and then yeah. maybe a highlight or two of some of the TV work you've done. Um, so I host Brunch in the City. It's a mid-morning show from 10 till 2 um, on City FM and it's currently the number one mid-morning show in Ghana. How many? How, really how's the competition? Because I have, I have no idea of the, <laughs> the competition is, is fierce because there are a lot of great stations and uh, predominantly there's been one station that's been like number one for a long time. Mm -hmm. So it was very interesting to see me actually beat them in terms of ratings which was a, a really great thing I, I gave myself a little pat on the shoulder but it's been really great um radio is fun because you, you don't have to do much you just have to what are you doing <laughs> wait pause 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 don't tell everyone now you're here no, as compared to television no, so no, television no, 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 it feels no. like a bit more we work very hard <laughs> we do we do it we is do. really intense <laughs> It is very labor intensive. We need to actually exercise and no, work out and lift weights to do this job. <laughs> Honestly, though, because you're in one space, you're talking yeah. to yourself, lads. You can yeah. go. It feels like sometimes you're going mad just talking to yourself. We and came a, in here and, mad. and a microphone. Adrian, come on, admit it. We are a little we, mad. We, though, landed, yeah. we landed. We yeah. landed here mad. We landed. We landed. <laughs> All of us are just a little mad. <laughs> a little. Just well. Okay. Uh, well let's keep it a little. <laughs> uh -huh. But yeah, um, in terms of television. Uh, um, I currently host a show called The Chat mm -hmm. and now I'm um, starting a new show called Sister Sister, which is like the number one relationship talk show in, in Ghana largely. Uh, about four ladies who sit and just discuss issues. So that's the new show I'm taking over from when I get back to Ghana. And yeah. What about The Chat Show? What was that about? So The Chat is um, a show about media personalities and and. So it's generally focused on personality or personality driven and also does have very important conversations on the creative industry. So we always think of the creative sector, the creative arts or the entertainment industry as very, as an industry that doesn't generally need a lot more 
thought-provoking conversation. So my show aimed to change that. We're looking at policy. We're looking at how we can change things. We're looking at the deeper side of the issues, not just who's doing what or who's going where or how, who's beefing who, but rather how we can create a more sustainable creative arts system and sector so that everyone can be able to be profitable or can be profitable to everyone, whether you're in, the, in, in radio or whether you're on TV or whether you're in music, something that is sustainable for everyone so that the origin economy we can truly blossom in Ghana. I am with Ghanaian radio superstar AJ Sarpong, who started her career back, back, <laughs> back, back when, in time. Back when, huh? Uh, how is your radio show? Tell me about it. Um, so it's very fun. So it's generally so Monday to Thursday. I have like really chilled, great music, good talk. It's just me, literally just thinking. With no of great... producer, we don't know software. Yes. Like you analog. <laughs> you know, let me tell you. If you want to open a radio station, yeah, uh, and you want to bring in modernity, <laughs> go to Ghana. You know, but probably you know, Patrick Uli Haman, all the tech. <laughs> <laughs> ask yourself this there are opportunities back home yeah. but if you want to stay let us Kenyans go no, but seriously, but seriously no, no, no. sorry 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 so, I just uh, no, no, so it's, it's really it's a really great vibe um, yeah. great music I try and chain music every hour so what um, kind of music do you play everything so from Afrobeat to old school to um, Hakuna formula to okay, like, sorry you're not, you're, not, you're, not, you're not Kenyan you don't know what that means <laughs> There's no form. There's no like Mondays. It's this. Tuesdays no. is that. So I, I like it unpredictable. Okay. So every time you tune in, you, you're getting something different. I like that. Like uh, so, <laughs> and also depending on your mood. So yeah. some, there are days that um, I just go chilled. So the next day, you don't know if I'm gonna go chilled. I'm gonna speed up the tempo. So it's always a different vibe when you tune in. Clearly, they love it because yes. you're number one in yes. your time slot. Yes, yes, yes. From ten to two. Ten to two. And it's called Brunch in the City. Brunch in the City. Do yeah. you host guests? I do. Um, so some of the biggest names um, across the continent have actually passed through. So whenever people come into town, I make it a point to try and catch them on the show. And you have to come I whenever you're coming to Ghana. I am heading to Ghana. <laughs> I'm going to say it's because yes. of AJ's show. <laughs> but, you know... It, it's probably for the, 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 the nice men, too. We have some really great Ghanaian no, men. Tell me America. about that because, you know... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, tell me because I got a lot of friends, mm -hmm. yeah, who are single and searching mm. the phenomenal women, mm. you know, and they said, ah, these Kenyan guys know. Yeah, they should try Ghanaian. Do, 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 do you know of some people oh, you quite could a introduce? Few, quite a few. Are very, I, I got you sorted. When you touch into a crowd, you're not going back without you know, we thought, You know, Patrick Parker <laughs> was deported from his country because he's never ever brought anyone. Oh, no, uh, then we need, we, we need brother, to fix that. Not an uncle, we need to not fix a that. cousin. <laughs> we need to fix that because Ghanaian men are honestly the best. They're the sweetest. They're the most considerate. Yeah. Um, they are very romantic to some extent. Will like, Kenyan ever say that? I'm like, will like, Kenyan ever go and Ghanaian right said, no, you know, in Kenya, our men are very sweet. They're very considerate. <laughs> our Kenyan men are just... <laughs> are they? <laughs> I, I don't know. My husband's foreign. Me, I don't know. I have no experience. I, I heard. Well, so, when, when, when your girls yes. come into Ghana, they, they might, they might, they might, they they might go, go back, back with... Uh, no, 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 They'll no. just open They're, they're staying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, it, Ghana's a very warm and very, very happy place. We like mm -hmm. to make sure everyone who comes through gets a really great impression, really great vibe vibe and experience and the best time to come into Ghana is like in December when okay. we have like the littest parties across the continent like everyone comes to Ghana in December it's lit okay 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 imagine now you work your representative for the Ministry of Tourism yes. for Ghana yes right give me a run through of why it's a must visit yeah who the big names are mm -hmm. in Ghana yes. yeah and what are some of the lit awesome fantastic things to do while you're there so with Ghana we have we cater to different um, demographics or vibes yeah. so if you're someone who loves adventure we have great um, out of town places you can go and have the most incredible adventures um, you can climb clay, uh, caves you can go through mountains you can get all that adrenaline things for mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. if you're someone who loves the beach we have some of the most beautiful beach resorts um, absolutely uh, incredible 
whole rooms, vibes, service, food. Of course, the Ghanaian food is like spicy, it's savory, it's it's everything in one. Mm. And of course, we have great parties. So in December, we make it a point to really celebrate the wrapping up of a good year. So yeah. everyone gets really excited for December. Mm. So beyond house parties, beyond um, gatherings that people do from offices through to their homes, we also have really great events that come every year so for our, my station like this we have something called december to remember mm -hmm. which is like the biggest concert and everyone it has a dress code where everyone wears white shirts and jeans so you come so in man woman you're all man, in white everyone shirts in and white shirts and jeans or we have another event called situation which yeah. has the same vibe it's all white yeah. but it's also like an outdoor party like a huge outdoor party yeah. and these are one of the events we have um mr easy does something called dirty rave yes. we have artists that do their own um, concerts so yeah. King Promise we do Promise Land Stone Boy I don't know if you know him also has his own show so every artist tries to do something an experience for their fans mm -hmm. in December as well wow. and then we have of course Christmas parties like literally you can enter any corner in Ghana in December yeah. and have the best time our clubs don't enter like 8am tell me highlights <laughs> of this radio career because now you know now I'm just jealous and heading to Ghana. I am so sorry. When you, were over. you were supposed to see me in December, but now. No, you have to go to a, a destination situation. Accra. <laughs> <laughs> Highlights from your radio career, some of the biggest moments for you. <sighs> That's a tough one. There have been so many. Um, either interviewing incredible people. Tell me some. Um, Tell me some. Uh, Who jumps out? <laughs> well, obviously the the Ghanaian people. I, I think there's no one I haven't interviewed for like all the big names. Uh, uh, Mr. Easy, Joe Boy, um, R2Bs. Uh, some of my best interviews. I think I think one of my best interviews was R2B. So they're uh, a really big group who are very very private in yes, Ghana. Yes. So they barely ever speak to media. They are very anti media. And tell me about tell me about them. <laughs> so they have such great music. So R2Bs and if you can check them out, they're an incredible group. But you barely how many are them. they two they're two so it's Mugis and payday okay. and they're like the kings yes um but you never get them anywhere and mm. they came on my show and they had the most thorough conversation that set social media on fire because they never speak what so, did they say that like everything. got everyone so in they addressed all the issues and all the misconceptions around them which mm. they are quite a few mm. and also showed a more deeper more intellectual side of themselves which people that weren't really aware of mm. speaking about their values their philosophies and Johnny had their fans going crazy because it was like oh my god our people are really deep and we can really relate to these things so, women artists um a lot i i largely tend to dedicate like wednesday every wednesday is past you woman crush wednesday um on on my show i do centered on women music and i try and get in as many new artists or female artists as i can to spotlight on them because i think it's very important um matter of fact sometimes i do even woman crush wednesday on a monday <laughs> <laughs> the men are angry <laughs> I, think I, do that. I think i might do that as well so what about the name artists women yeah uh, so we have so some incredible parts. voices mm -hmm. um someone like cena soul someone like abiana um a lady called Adina, Ms. V. So we have a lot of great female artists. The unfortunate part is they don't get as much platforms or as much hype as the male artists do and another thing that is quite unfortunate especially with our media and i don't know if it's a ghanaian thing or an african thing or a worldwide thing mm. where we tend to pit the women against each other as against the men it's like there's enough space for all the men there's actually there's not enough space for there's the women. actually an article in today's eve magazine uh -huh. about why do women not support each other and is that true is that false is that a false narrative i'm going to get to the bottom yeah. of that but yes there are fantastic name women uh artists concerts that you've been to events that you've emceed yes a few uh, miss v's concert launch i i, I emceed um abiana's um concert launch i emceed i'm literally like the person you can come to if you're a female artist and say aj mc my I, I did um cena souls album launch as well so i'm usually the one that they gravitate to when it's a female album launch to be done because i'm like yo it's for my ladies i must support them in any way shape or form so yeah you usually see me on stage when they have album launches or or concerts or something of that sort to do in a few minutes we want to find out how much does it pay should we be moving to ghana to make more paper but AJ, we need to find out a couple of things. Yes. Profitable, the industry in Ghana? It is. It is, especially when... Um these days, brands see radio and media personalities as worthy of endorsement deals. So, you so you're not get... like a secretly... Uh 
uh, I don't know, a cobbler <laughs> or a vet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, even though um, I, I, I also like to get academic qualifications so that I can be able to, oh, I'm going to ah, take start Ah, do you off. hear that? Also <laughs> likes to get academic qualifications. I think certainly. Just kidding. No, no, but the point is, what did you study in school? Um, so for uh, my bachelor's, it was theater arts and political science because my father was, is a politician. Um, so I sort of had to fulfill that side because initially he thought I'd be a lawyer. Mm. That didn't happen, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> uh, my first master's was in journalism because I had now started a career in that. And my second master's, which I just completed a few weeks ago, is in brands and communications. And where did you complete said master's? Um, UPSA, so University of Professional Studies, Accra. Ghana. Did you grow up in Ghana? Largely, yeah. yes. But shuffled a bit back and forth um, between the UK and Ghana because my mother was primarily based at a point in the UK as well. Ah, yeah. that is so fascinating. <laughs> so fascinating. So what do people have to look forward to with regards to AJ? More. Um, I'm always on the move to do more. I always want to be better, um, learn more, and basically give the very best to all those that tune in. So um, expect better radio shows, better TV shows, um, hopefully more collaborations with someone as amazing as you, Olivia. Uh, We're going to do it. And it, is <laughs> gonna, it, it is going to happen. Yeah. And um, just being the very best version I can be, at least in Ghana, and hopefully take over the African continent. What brought you? Because it's not our men. So what brought you, what brought you to Nairobi? Um, I had a few friends who were coming in for a conference. And I was like, you know what? I have a week off. Um, I've never come to Nairobi. Uh, why the heck not? So I grabbed my things, loaded my bag, and then came through. And it's been honestly the best trip ever. <laughs> like Nairobi is absolutely beautiful. The food, the people, the the everything has yeah. just been infectious, and I've loved every second. And I'm so sad to go back, but I have to. <laughs> we are sad to let you go as well. And the other thing is, what I love to do with my guests is trivia, mm -hmm. music trivia. In the dun, meantime, you're going to teach me how to azonto. Okay, we'll try it. Yeah, I heard there are no new dance moves after azonto. Most of them are Nigerian, so Ghanaians, you know, pull up your socks on that. Yeah, you're going to teach me to azonto, and then we're going to have some music trivia. Are okay. you better with 80s, 90s, or noughties? <laughs> I can only, you pick. Uh, may, maybe 90s and noughties? <laughs> <laughs> are you a rally fan, AJ? I'm not, I'm not sure which one that is. Like the safari rally. Oh, okay. Uh... Fast cars, motorsports in general? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I shy away. <laughs> what are your passions? I know you're media, but what else? Um, producing. <laughs> Making things work behind the scenes, but uh, um, reading actually largely, uh, yeah. to be very honest. Um, I can read anything and everything and very, very quickly. Like a large book can go down in like three hours. I'm, I'm a really fast reader. Did you ever read anything? No, let me not get into that. We're going to play trivia. <laughs> because now these are we'll, off mic. We'll talk yes, about these yes, off mic. Yes, yes. All right. So I'm going to play you some tracks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some hooks or some songs. Okay. Yeah, she's already your personality mm. from Ghana. She knows what our hook is, you know. Uh, and then you're going to tell me who sung it or the name of the track. Either or. I okay. think either or would work. Okay, thank right, you. Let's see if this goes. Ghana, I hope you, I don't disgrace you guys. No, you're not Ghana. <laughs> you're not Ghana. I, th I, think, I think you'll be fine. Let's, I hope. let's see. Okay. Let's see how this goes. All right. Let me put this in here for you. <laughs> Blank. How can you not know that song? <sighs> Okay, okay. What's what's the secret with songs, right? <laughs> yeah. And naming of songs, usually. What's usually, I try I try to li listen out for the art the voice to see if I know the artist, and then to try and pick up any keywords in the hook to see if I can guess the title. Yeah, yeah. But so, so guess the title. Uh, if you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing blank. Good for you? <laughs> Nothing. I'm, I'm drawing a blank. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. The song is called Tell Me. And it's by Groove Theory. I would not have guessed that. <laughs> yes. We know. Because okay. you did not guess it. I did not guess it. Can we, can we, can we try another one? Okay. She says... Hmm. Girl. 
Nothing. Hey, yeah, 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 <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 Oh my hey, gosh. Yeah. I can't believe this. I'm gonna say he, <laughs> I I I I oh, Yeah, I have I, no words. Oh, like wake I, up title <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Blank. Drawing a blank. I know. And it's I, and it's shocking me. I, I, I I'm I'm shocked myself. Because one time I played a, a music trivia game and I won everything. It was uh, at a, a quiz night and I I thought I had the Okay, I'm going to play you one more before I even tell you what the track was. But that was mm. Kelly Rowland. Yeah. Now my ancestors are injured. But, you know, <laughs> I, I'm just like, what? What's happening? Okay, this one. Um, I want to be down. Um, uh, Brandy? Oh, oh my Monica? God. Oh, my God. Brand? No, no, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Relax, 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 relax. Girl, girl. Hey. Uh, I'm feeling all kinds of pain. Uh, no, I okay. I know it's. I want to be down. Is, is it brand? No, it's. Is it brandy? It is. It is. Yeah, it I, is but, okay. It is. It is. It is, it is brandy. Like, when I said brandy, first, you didn't. You, you didn't. You didn't give me like a a, a no, face. No, no, that's no, true. No, no, the face was like she actually got it. Okay. It was, it was, okay. It was, it was so that's why I was like, okay, maybe it's Monica. Maybe maybe someone else. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna clap again just because I can. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. One out of three is, is not bad. <laughs> Shall we put you out your misery or try one more? <laughs> one more. Let me let me let me let me try for all my Ghanaian peeps. One for more. all your Ghanaian peeps. This is for all oh, of Ghana. Oh this is Lord. for you, Ellie. This is, <laughs> this is for you, Patrick Quarko. Atakama, we know we've adopted you as an East African. Atakama uko kompe, kompe ni rosafi. Yeah. All right. Are, are we gonna try this? Yes. Let's let's do this. Hey. Let's oh, try. We don't know. We don't know. We're gonna try. No, I know it. I'm trying to figure out the artist. Okay, but okay. In all fairness, Sean, you picked the absolute worst part of the whole. <laughs> like that's even that's not even the that's not even the part that the chick is actually singing. It's like the worst part. Should I play it one more time just so I can even sing along to it? We are okay, you're singing your own song. <laughs> I probably am. You you singing um, you singing your uh, own song. Yeah. I tr I try one more time. One, one more time. More. Maybe maybe you might one get more. it. Maybe you might get it. I, All right. I'm I'm afraid. You see, I'm afraid to even guess. No, just it, guess. Because we're now we're guessing. What, we're, what, that's what we're doing. We're Lauren guessing. Lauren Hill. No. Eh. Eh. No. Oh, it is not Lauren Hill. Hold on. Hold on. Relax. Relax. <laughs> I. Um, you're gonna say it, and I'm gonna feel so foolish that I didn't guess it. But. Janet Jackson gone till it's gone. I need to come onto your yeah. show and yeah. you can play me your eclectic yeah. beats and then I'm gonna because yeah. I am the champion. Name yeah. that tune. And you would Let get me it. clap for myself. <laughs> you know, in my mind I always thought I could go on the show Shazam. Now no, I'm, no, realizing, I'm, I'm realizing I'm realizing I cannot survive it. You cannot, you cannot. <laughs> in my head I'm like, oh my god, yeah, I would get no, I I can't, I can't. I defer to you. We're gonna do this again in Accra. Yes. On the station called City FM. Brunch in the city. Yes. Huh? And and you will win it all. I, I, I already know. So let's let's plan towards your crowning ceremony in Accra <laughs> when you win it all. <laughs> this is why we love Canadians. <laughs> huh? This is why we love them. AJ Sarkar. I will get you a crown right by the your console. So as soon as you're done, just wear it and you just come back to, to, to Nairobi knowing you've won it. Huh? <laughs> Kate Mayeye Okaranime, African Fabrics of Dance. I need a I need a crown. Yes, you do. Yeah. Yes. Whoever wins this presidential race, mm -hmm. I'm going for the inauguration yes. and I'm wearing a crown. Thank you very much. Thank you, AJ. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining on Double O Direct. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely amazing time. And I look forward to doing the reverse on um City when you come to Accra.